keep thinking we've met, but your clothes were different. <laughs> yes, well, of course, I, I, I actually... I think I, I, I know what you mean, Charity. Sometimes our neighbor has a very, um, unusual wardrobe. I mean, sometimes I don't recognize her myself. <laughs> oh, yes, that's it. I, I have a very eccentric wardrobe. <laughs> oh, I know people laugh at me sometimes, but I don't give a fig. <laughs> Go get him, Tabby. Tabitha came to see you in the hospital, Charity. Oh, oh yes, and I, I'm sure I was wearing something outrageous. I, I can't remember that far back uh, at my age, but uh, I'm sure it was something wonderfully flamboyant. <laughs> that must be it. <clears throat> Speaking of wardrobe, Tabitha, what's the point of those gloves with the fingers cut out? Well, the point is, dear Sam, that while I adore gloves, uh, they often get in the way. I mean, one can't always do things with gloves on. Uh, so I eliminate the fingers, which leaves them free to cook or make telephone calls or scratch a nose. Or <laughs> I'm still trying to picture you when you came to visit me in the hospital. It's so unnerving not being able to remember anything. Well, Charity, just don't ever give up hoping. I mean, it's been 20 years since I lost my memory. And I've never given up hoping. Oh, now that's fortitude, my dear. <laughs> but what's important is Grace has been able to get on with her life, in spite of her amnesia. Yeah, I consider myself a very lucky woman. I mean, I have a great life, a wonderful husband, wonderful children. And we even have a few laughs every now and again. Oh. <laughs> Sam, you always make me laugh. And there's something good about amnesia, Charity. And I don't remember anything about the fire that almost killed me. granted by your ancestors to you and your sister Faith. The two of you together would destroy me and all I hold dear. The only way I can stop you is to kill. And so, Grace, you must die. The only way to destroy such goodness and light is with darkness, with fire, and with damnation. Let the fire rage and glow. To this room where goodness flows, help me rid the world tonight of Grace's goodness and her light. Fire, come through me. Fire, be set free.
Maybe it's a blessing you don't remember the fire, Grace, dear. Maybe. If it hadn't been for Sam, I would have died in that fire for sure. Hello, is there anybody in there? Is there anybody in there? I'm coming in. And when I came to, Sam was staring at me with those big, beautiful eyes, full of fear and worry. And I fell in love right then and there. And I was already in love with you, Grace. <laughs> you really did save Aunt Grace's life. Just like Miguel saved you. I wish I could remember. What a strange, funny lady. But sweet, isn't she? Oh. Well, the neighborhood certainly won't be boring with her around, will it? I guess I should say thank you. I've been told that you saved my life. Twice. I'm just so glad you're all right. I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that. Oh, hey, you're the real hero. I hate to think what would happen to Charity if you hadn't found her on those railroad tracks. I mean, you're responsible for Charity being here. Don't I know it? And Miguel saved Charity just like your father saved me. I think it's an omen. An omen? Yeah, good things to come. I mean, you see how happy your father and I have been since he saved me. Kay's just emotional right now. Uh, you know she loves her cousin. And I guess Charity coming here has kind of overwhelmed her. Well, she's a sensitive kid sometimes. Well, we're all a little overwhelmed by everything that's happened. I mean, we came very close to losing you, Charity. I mean, thank God that Miguel and Kay found you. I'll always be grateful to both of them. I hope I didn't do anything to upset Kay. No, I'm, I'm sure you didn't. You know, like Simone said, she's just emotional right now. Finding a cousin she never knew she had, and then almost losing you, and then having you back again. It's only natural she'd be a little off balance. I'm going to talk to Kay. 